Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, what about the other thing? I can't keep it- <gasps> What am I doing? What am I doing? I am- I am provoking it on purpose. Oh, is this a good idea though? Like, I'll literally lose everything I've been doing this whole time. If I... <sighs> decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm not gonna provoke it today. Let's try to find the habitat today. Because, mm! okay, judging by the size, and judging by how it tried to attack me before, I'm guessing it's pretty bad in terms of, like, killing me and stuff. And I don't want to deal with that right now because I want to focus on finding this freaking habitat. Which, like, where even the hell is it? It's around here. Hello, crab squid. I'm just passing through, passing through. Don't use flashlights. I got it. It's so... it's pretty down here. But like, you know, oxygen is a problem. I don't have confidence that... okay, like, this is actually... Actually, yeah, I, I'm not gonna do this. We need to park the Cyclops at a better place or use the prawn suit. Like, this is just too... We don't have enough oxygen for this. I'm not even there, and... I think by the time I get there, I'm not even gonna have enough oxygen to look around anyway. Decisions, decisions! Why won't that guy make noise though? Make some noise, let me know you're here. Oh, but the light? The crab squid. Hmm. Mmm, using the prawn here? I, I think it looks too deep for me to climb back up again. Does it fight with Frieza? Dude, I don't know how to- I don't know how to handle this situation. I want to look around more, but I don't want to piss people off. And I've been away from home for a very long time now. If we rig this for silent running... Okay, that reduces the noise level by a lot. A lot. I'm gonna back away and see if we can go deeper down. Seems difficult though, to be honest. Now? I'm busy. Go to my voicemail. Maybe here. This is the back, this is the back. Be careful, don't get turned around. Yeah, if we can get a little bit deeper at least. I'm so scared now though because I'm like, well where's that guy? We don't know where he is. Dude, I can't fit the Cyclops in here. There's two ways we can do this. Go deeper down. No, we gotta get closer and deeper. But right now we're getting further and deeper. I don't know if that helps. Maybe it's better if we go out in the prawn. Like, just find a nice place to park this and... I mean, this is not too bad. 
If we park the Cyclops right above land, it'll be easier for the prawn to get back up. Oh, I think we're gonna... The sonar is fine, it's just that we're getting too close to... Because we're trying to cram the ship down here, that's why. There's another wreck here. Okay, well, let's try going with a prawn then. Oh, this is suddenly getting tense. Hmm, how are we doing on battery? Oh, let's switch this one out. We have spare batteries. Don't wait till the last second to do it. Can hear Frieza outside. Oh, this makes it so much creepier. Yeah. It's really annoying because it seems like the batteries don't deplete in order. Like, this is depleted, and then that one over there is depleted. Is it randomized or what? I'm not sure. We cool, we cool. All right. Put the power is <laughs> it's too dark here. <laughs> it's too dark. Mm, we definitely want to put a beacon here. Actually, do we? Because it's kind of we got here because we were trying to get to the habitat. So maybe just going to the habitat will lead us back here. Hopefully. Mm, the scanner definitely needs more battery though, so I'll just switch it with the um, habitat builder. Let's put this back in. Oh, I can't put it in here. <laughs> 13 battery or 7? Ah, yeah, okay. Let's check out the wreck. a little bit stealthier with the lights off, but it is really dark. Now that we're on the bottom, on the floor like this, I think we have a chance of using the prawn suit to get to the habitat. Is there a light on the prawn suit or does it just depend on my own light? Oh god. Can you not? Can you not? I'm just trying to find a place to escape it. Flashlight. Don't want to use my flashlight too much for now if we don't have to. Don't think I'm looking for a scanner room all the way down here. Thank you anyway, though. Can I not go in here? It doesn't seem so. No. Oh. Now we can hear a reaper. The laser cutter doesn't need a 100% battery. Definitely not. Like, I'll switch it with a stasis rifle or something. I don't... 
Keeping in mind the... Oxygen we have, of course. You want me to cut another one? Nothing here? One minute and a half of oxygen? Oh my goodness, food is not a problem anymore. E no. Oxygen. You're infected. Is that guy gone now? Can I walk around a little bit closer in the prawn suit? Oh, don't stand on the... I think the electricity is gonna kill my prawn suit. <laughs> I'm just making it stand on this weird angle. <laughs> Furniture, office chair, very important. I'm still mad that the swivel chair doesn't seem a swivel. <laughs> Why would they do that? Call it a swivel chair, but not have it swivel? Just name it something else. The vent? I thought there might be a little bit more here, but it seems like it's a pretty... There's not even data boxes around here. Really? Oh damn, three doors and the freaking battery is already going out like crazy. I think I switched it with a battery that was like, what? 70%-ish? So opening three doors took... like, around 40%. There's nothing in here. What? Okay. I guess that's that? Well... You win some, you lose some. Not every single wreck's gonna have some crazy blueprints for me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do we keep going? There's more little wrecks around here. So much. Aurora wreckage here. And I gotta be careful of the battery for the flashlight too. It's amazing that we've been able to make it so far without going back or having any sort of backups for battery. But I don't want to push it. If later we're in trouble and we run out of battery for the repulsion cannon or the stasis rifle, I'm gonna be so angry. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing too much down here. By the way, I gotta repair this thing. Are you gonna... You gonna get mad again? I'm gonna leave this here. Go back in, drink some water, get back out. Welcome mm -hmm. Captain. 
All systems online. Knife. But so far, not having the sea glide seems to be okay. Relatively, we've been out for a very, very, very long time today, but it's been pretty safe. So far. Actually, now might be a good time to bust out the sea glide. Because I don't feel very safe with just the prawn suit if we're going to be far away for a bit. Yeah, and I don't think inventory is going to be a problem anyway. We're not focusing on resource collecting right now. Don't think we need this much food. Uh, mm, uh, one more, just in case, right? Just in case, because we're in the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. I'm primarily worried about the squid. Because you know, earlier we read about how, oh, it can neutralize electrical equipment. And basically everything I have on me. Yes? Everything I have on me is electrical, isn't it? Pretty much. In that case, what should I do then? Because, like, every single thing here, I can't really do anything against it. So maybe I should have the knife on just in case, so I can defend myself. But, you know, definitely don't shine the light at it is the point I'm getting here. <laughs> uh, I should probably clean that out sometime, too. Mm. Gonna put the sea glot on second. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's not always interested in me. Sometimes it's like attacking other stuff, too. Okay, here we should be able to just walk across the seafloor. I'm really hoping. Oh, that's kind of rare. Have we scanned this shrub before? Hmm. I don't think we need the... Oh god. The flashlight here anyway. Oh jeez. Well, there's so many of them. Kind of freaks me out. Oh, we're so close. We're gonna get there. We'll be fine. We just gotta watch ourselves. Oh my god. Whoa. Maybe we should stick to, like, closer to sea floor. Thankfully, these pods exist. We can look around pretty easily. Temperature-wise, it doesn't seem like it's too hot here. Oh, actually, it's getting really hot because we're getting near this thing. Oh, shoot. Uh... Dude, they're everywhere. We got these things here again. I feel like the prawn suit has some natural lighting. Right? So despite not having a flashlight on, it's probably... I mean, the fact that we're this gigantic machine robot thing is probably attracting some attention. Oh shoot, look at that! We're here! We're here! We're here. We're fine. 
I think there was only one of them here. It feels kind of like a boss monster. Oh, but there's multiple warpers. Oh, we did it, we did it! Look! Okay, now we probably need the flashlight. We gotta find a way in first, though. Oh! What? Swim to surface? Oh! Oh! It disabled my prawn suit! Or... Actually, what even happened just now? My oxygen meter was okay, but it... Uh... I don't think I know what happened, but it did something. And I don't think it's happy with... Whoa! Whoa! Mmm... Let's park the prawn suit somewhere. Oh god. Ouch! Look! Girl just wants to look at the habitat, alright? Oh my god, why would they decide to live here? Of all places. Okay, I'm gonna take away... No, I, I need this. I need the flashlight. And I need to get in. Dude, honestly, why on earth would they live here? Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charges your health tool. <gasps> While you swim! You're joking me. Acquired. Hey, there's a different lady there. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, I can't get any of that. Ah! Oh, it's the EMP wave, right? I'm not... I'm not a machine. I don't have to be worried about that. Theoretically, anyway. Yeah, we're fine. I'm just trying to make sure to look around a little bit more so that we're not missing things, because that would not be good. Oh, I want this duffel bag. I want this duffel bag. Well, at the very minimum, we got the PDA, but surprise, surprise, there's another broken habitat. There's a lot of, like, chemical things here, though. I don't think that was a theme we had before. Dude! <laughs> Is it attacking my prawn suit? I think it is. You piece of garbage! Wait, I gotta make sure it's repaired. Whoa. Dude. So even though my prawn suit hasn't been doing anything, it still cares, because it's electrical, maybe? Was that it? Okay, I'm just gonna park you somewhere else then. Yes, I'm, I'm a little bit busy right now, just leave a message. Leave a message. Oh, maybe because there's light coming from this. Can I turn that off? I didn't figure out a way. Was that the only thing? There is an upper portion. Which I'm pretty sure we haven't looked at yet. All torgles. The end. Quit it. I'm torn between wanting to have the flashlight, but also scared that it's gonna attract the guy. I think we're okay here, it's just that they're noisy. V Q B S K A K N. Q -B -S -K -A -K -N. 
Just gonna grab a little bit of oxygen. Yeah, that guy's been more annoying than anything. We'll be fine. Can I get up top? I... Okay, I don't... Okay, there's a ladder there. There's a PDA there. Oh, they have an alien containment here as well. Okay, there's a lot of PDAs here. Jeez! Dude, what do you want? What do you want? Oh my god, they won't stop harassing me. Now can you stop? I'm inside. I'm not electrical. Integrating new PDA data. Someone still had a cup of coffee in there. This containment has no hatch. So I'm actually kind of curious if I have the flashlight on and the wave hits me, will it turn it off? Oh my god! It does. It does turn it off. Oh no! Oh! Okay, oh, okay. It cuts it out, but you can turn it back on again. I got scared because I thought it zapped all of my battery completely. Creature egg. Hey, it's another one of those guys. The clear ones. Orange tablet. Okay, we'll read about all that later. It's gotta be some advanced alien stuff. No! Fagazi. You know, I gotta come back and get that. That's the way we roll. So if we don't want to get our stuff disabled, it seems like just turning off your stuff before... Oh no, even though it's off, it still affects my thing. I see. Okay, uh, we're getting low on. We've been dawdling a little bit long. Jeez, man! Oh my god! One minute of oxygen. We could leave. We could leave now. I'm pretty sure we have the important things. But the analyzer, the fluid analyzer, the non-functional stuff. Another one of those eggs. Orange symbol. Mm. No, 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 no. Welcome aboard, Captain. Is the... Jesus! You all right? I don't think the stasis will do much for him because he's gonna keep coming back! Can you leave? Like, if I push you out? I think I gotta just hurry up. Oh, more oxygen, please, if that's okay. Oh, dude, you're totally... Dude, power, okay? Power is becoming an issue. Please don't wreck my prawn suit. I've only got one of those. Okay, one last sweep. Am I missing anything big here? Stop being so scary! Okay, I don't see that I'm missing anything. If I missed anything... Oh, wow. That was something. Actually wanted to get out anyway, so that wasn't so bad, but yikes. It's little transportation power works past the... Oh jeez, for a second I thought there were two squids. It works past the glass, that's something to note. 
Which I guess we should have expected already because... Jeez, man. Because it can take us out of the prawn suit. Just get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, it's definitely been hurt while I've been away. Let's get the hell out of here. Got a good long bit of stasis. Thank goodness. Anything else worth looking at around here? If there is, I'm coming back later. I think I've had enough of this place for now. In general, though, it just kind of looks like... Yeah, you know, no. Yeah. We're enroaching on its territory, that's why it's mad. We will read the logs once we get back. But what are the chances? What are the chances- Oh my god, there's so many warps! What are the chances that guy is related to how these people died? The crab squid. Maybe the crab squid wasn't here before. Because I can't imagine why they would build a habitat right here. It does seem otherwise peaceful. Just the crab squid. And the warpers are kind of a problem, but mainly the crab squid. Not good, not good, not good. Is he scratching at me? My prawn suit is damaged. I think he was clawing at me just now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're here already! Shoot! Woo! Captain, all systems online. Yeah, that wasn't even that bad, but I was getting harassed left and right. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, let's uh, transfer some of this stuff and take a look at the logs. I'm okay health-wise, but I'm so scared I'm like super hungry and super thirsty. <laughs> this one has no battery. I love this crap. <laughs> this is like... I'm gonna build a lab, okay? I'm gonna build like a make-believe science lab. That's why I have these things. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good sign that we should be going home because I don't have any more space. Very, very little space. I'm just... There's no sense of organization. Can I make another locker? Habitat builder? Where's my habitat builder? You can't label these ones. 13% battery, good enough. Do I have enough titanium is another problem too. Vehicle upgrade console. Now this has got to be built in the moon pool. Yes, everybody? I'm not afraid of you. Now that I'm in here, I'm not afraid of you. Can you get a little bit closer so we can line up more? Felt like those ones are lined up pretty closely. Ah, uh, good enough. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm probably gonna have to put tools in a separate locker or something. <sighs> We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. We have two. Orange tablet? I'm guessing that means level two or something. Purple is level one. We haven't really... Because I think most of our expeditions so far have been focused on... Mm, like, understanding bits of the planet. Understanding in terms of, like, how to get food, how to get water. Meeting survival needs. But the tablets are more like understanding the why, like how this planet came to be, 
why it's the way it is. More like, alien facility stuff, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see here. That back on. Data downloads alien data. Scan data. Orange tablet. The device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. This one has a U. And it doesn't seem to hum. Can we make it just because we have it? Hopefully. The Yazi survivors. Malady. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, Liam. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. It's a bit of a shame because I think this kind of highlights this voice log. How these three people actually have a pretty diverse skill set. And if they worked together, they probably would have gotten a lot more done. That's presumably the same disease that we have. Coughing, itching, blisters. But there is a bunch of fish that we see around the place that have green spots, but mm, do they die afterwards? Like, are we just catching them at the point where they haven't died yet? Do they die sooner than regular fish? That's something we can't really tell unless if we like take one on purpose and bring it back home and time how long it takes to die. I don't think it'll randomly die though. It'll only die if someone attacks it. Or if I eat it. Risk taking. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. Oh my god. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or it got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Wow. This lady is tough. But I actually kind of agree with Paul here. That seems a bit dangerous. Oh. Man, were they eating leviathans or what? Oh, but the second one, or the last one, disaster. I have had it with you risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. That we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Is that how they went? Oh... The Marguerite was a little bit overconfident that they'd be okay, but you know, the, oh frick, no. And then we go back to the one... Oh, we have one more. Paul Torgel, the end. 
came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then no. I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. When you get the really deep ocean depths, isn't there some phenomenon where you start seeing hallucinations and stuff? Off the top of my head, I don't know enough to remember what it's called. And then there's like issues with nitrogen and like pressure and all, all this stuff. Living in the water is hard. I was gonna say, um, Bart Torgal, Return from the Deep. This is chronologically the last one, I think. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Oh, the shoot. Are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Wait, this guy can't be alive then because he was ill too. His father and Marguerite died from the Leviathans. Ironically, the first person who left the habitat didn't die. Yeah, so what happened was he left the habitat. The Leviathans came looking for their injured friend or brother or sister or whatever. And Maida didn't make it. Paul didn't make it. It's probably a little bit of everything. You know, Maida does have some survival skills, but she seems way too... Maybe a bit overconfident in her skills. Especially because she has two people here who are like CEO office worker types. They don't know how to survive, and she's like bringing leviathans home and all that. But staying on the island, maybe they weren't going to get rescued. There are other options aside from staying on the island versus going really deep into the water to figure out what's going on. But um, damn. Well, looking at the numbering here, I do get the sense that we've probably gotten all the logs with any luck. This does mark something new then, because up until now, we've been following the story of the Degazi survivors. None of them survived, actually. Then now, we'll be carving our own path with nobody to guide us. From here on, it really is going to be completely alone. Hmm. Should we go home then? I think now would be a good time to go home. Home is that way. <sighs> okay. I'm a little bit... Do we have to drop a beacon here? I don't think so. This is just around the habitat. I think we'll be fine. Engine powering up. Has that gone up a little bit? I feel like that number was a little bit lower before. Oh, because I can switch my power cells probably. I hit slow. I really wish I didn't see the holographic worm. Because now I know it's here.
With any luck, we won't be bumping into it. Focus on going straight up. Turning to the beacon. I think we'll be fine. Oh, we had a really long expedition today. Pretty fruitful though, and ultimately, we're able to go home without, you know, getting hurt. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I think we're fine. Oh! I never use this. The sonar. Oh, shoot! Oh, so it sends a signal that kind of, I don't know, it's some like bat echolocation thing where it tells me the contour of the place around me. That's so useful. Oh, that would have been really great to have earlier. Frick, completely forgot about it since I got it. But great, we're back in familiar waters again. Oh, it's nighttime right now. That's fine, that's fine. We'll go home. When we go home, there's gonna be so much waiting for us. <laughs>